Hi everyone, this is Daniel Johnston, and today I'm going to show you a solution to a common problem that people often have with iCloud, and that is you change your iCloud email address, then you do not sign out on your iOS devices, iPad or iPhone, and then you are unable to sign out and change your uh, email because you have Find My iPhone in. Because to disable Find My iPhone, you need to enter in the password on your device. But if that account with that email no longer exists anymore, it's going to be impossible to disable Find My iPhone. And this is a huge problem. I had it, and every time you would start up your iPhone, it would ask you two or three times, what's your iCloud password? And it would just get stuck in this infinite loop where you could never get out of it because the account didn't exist anymore. There is a way to solve it. Luckily, I did solve it. I don't know why I waited so long. But here I'm going to show you how to go in to your account online and solve this problem. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is log in to the website, My Apple ID. So you go here, appleid.apple.com, and you click Manage Your Apple ID. So here I'm already signed in, but normally you'd have to sign in again like this. And here it is. So now you click Edit. So what you do here is you simply change your primary email address back to what it was that you have on file on your device, your iPhone or your iPad. So you may be a little hesitant to do this, and I was originally, because it says you may be required to verify your email address. Well, I didn't have access to that email account anymore. So I was worried that if I changed it, it would just lock me out of the account and that I would not be able to verify the uh, Apple ID. However, I called Apple Care and they said no. Even though it says that you have to ver verify your email address, it says that it must be a valid email address. But that's actually not the case. You do not have to verify it. And so you can simply enter in here what your old account email was. Then you click Save. Then you go into your device. You log in using this new slash old Apple ID. Then you uh, turn off, find my iPhone, log out, and then you go back here, change it back to your real Apple ID, and then you can log back in on, on your device and your problems are solved and you'll have no more of those annoying pop-ups continually asking you to sign in when you can't. So you may have to log in again too, because this may make some of your other accounts log out automatically because it's been changed, but that's fine. It's no big deal and you can just log into those again. So this is the main thing about it is that you do not have to verify your email address. You can simply change it here and then change it back and that's all there is to it. Now this is June 2015. I'm recording this. It's possible that, that this may change in the future and you may have to verify your email address. However, as of this time, you do not have to. However, if it's several months or years down the road when you're watching this, you may want to make sure uh, that you're not going to get locked out of your account and that they are requiring you to verify your email addresses. However, right now, they are not, so you can simply change it and change it back. So hopefully that solves your problem with that. So check out my YouTube channel, Tech and Help 101, for more technology videos. And if you have any more questions, ask them to me and I'll be glad to help you out the best I can. So thanks for watching.